In this video, we'll look at how to plot a 3D vector. This question is right out of your textbook, page 168, 12a. And the vector given is called m, which is 6, negative 4, 2. The first thing I did was draw the x, y, and z axes. And I set it up with a ruler. It's really important here to use a ruler. I tried to do it without a ruler, and it looked really messy and incorrect. So you draw your axes, the normal what used to be x and y axes are your y and z axes and the axis that comes out of you that's supposed to come out at you from the page is represented by this diagonal x-axis think about it as being the third dimension coming out from the page whereas the y and z axis for the intents and purposes of drawing this vector those two axes are flat all right let's count off each of the coordinates so this 6 means go positive 6 on the x-axis. That's 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, put a dot. This negative 4 means be on the y-axis, but go negative 4 on the y-axis, and put a dot. And finally, this 2 means go up 2 on the z-axis, put a dot. We've got each of our components, or coordinates, of our vector on the axes. And now we're going to have to connect them. So I'll put little ticks here to show we marched out six spaces on the x-axis. Then we're going to go over four for the y. That's one, two, three, four, and put a dot. You don't have to put a dot there, it just helps. It's going to look nice later. And I'm going to connect that with this dot. This one also, I went negative 4, now I have to walk 6. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to get to this dot. So this is nice. I've got my X and my Y components labeled. Now I need my Z. For the Z part, I go up 2. I can probably get away without the ruler here. Up 2. I'm going to go up to from each of my dots, up to here, up to here, and even up to on the actual z-axis. And now you can see this box starting to form that represents my vector. I'm going to finish off the other sides of the box. And this was a walk of four along the y-axis. And this was the walk of six. for the x-axis, and this was a walk of 6 as well, oh, got a little attached here, that's okay, just erase it, 5, 6, and finally this side of the box here is connected by a walk of 4. Okay, we're almost there. All I need to do now is to draw my final vector, which goes 6 along x, negative 4 for the y, and up 2. So it ends up at this dot and starts here at the origin. You should probably label the origin with an O. And so out 6, over 4, up 2. I'm going to label that as my vector by connecting the origin to that dot with a straight line using a ruler. I make it a little thicker just so it's clear that's the final vector. And I'll label that the M vector. And there you have it, a vector drawn in 3D. How did we do it? Create the X, Y, and Z axes. Create with even scale of ticks. Understand that each little tick means one. And then draw each component of the vector and create a three-dimensional box by using each of the components. Finally, connect your vector from the origin to the final position. And you've done it.